Lev Ivanovich Yashin, Russian, October 22, 1929, March 20, 1990, nicknamed the Black Spider or the Black Panther, was a Russian professional footballer regarded by many as the greatest goalkeeper in the history of the sport. He was known for his athleticism, positioning, stature, bravery, imposing presence in goal, and acrobatic reflex saves. He was also deputy chairman of the Football Federation of the Soviet Union. Yashin earned status for revolutionizing the goalkeeping position by imposing his authority on the entire defense. A vocal presence in goal, he shouted orders at his defenders. Came off his line to intercept crosses and also ran out to meet on rushing attackers, done at a time when goalkeepers spent the 90 minutes standing in the goal waiting to be called into action. His performances made an indelible impression on a global audience at the 1958 World Cup, the first to be broadcast internationally. He dressed head to toe in apparent black, in truth very dark blue, thus earning his nickname the Black Spider. Yashin appeared in four World Cups from 1958 to 1970 and in 2002 was chosen on the FIFA Dream Team of the History of World Cups. In 1994, he was chosen for the FIFA World Cup All-Time Team, and in 1998 was chosen as a member of the World Team of the 20th Century. According to FIFA, Yashin saved over 150 penalty kicks in professional football, more than any other goalkeeper. He also kept over 270 clean sheets in his career. Winning a gold medal at the 1956 Olympic football tournament, 13, and the 1960 European Championships. In 1963, Yoshin received the Ballon d'Or, the only goalkeeper ever to receive the award. He was additionally named posthumously to the Ballon d'Or Dream Team in 2020, a greatest all-time 11, and was voted the best goalkeeper of the 20th century by the IFS. In November 2003, to celebrate UEFA's Jubilee, he was selected as the Golden Player of Russia by the Russian Football Union as their most outstanding player of the past 50 years. Early Life Yashin was born in Moscow to a family of industrial workers. When he was 12, World War II forced him to work in a factory to support the war effort. However his health at the age of 18, after he suffered a nervous breakdown, meant he was unable to work. Thus, he was sent to work in a military factory in Moscow. After being spotted playing for the factory team he was invited to join the Dynamo Moscow youth team. Club Career Yoshin's debut for Dynamo Moscow came in 1950 in a friendly match. It was not the debut he would have hoped for, as he conceded a soft goal scored straight from a clearance by the opposing keeper. That year he played in only two league games, and did not appear in a senior match again until 1953. But he remained determined, and stayed at Dynamo in the reserves waiting for another opportunity. Yoshin also played goalie for the Dynamo ice hockey team during those early years of trying to break into the senior squad. 
He managed to win a USSR Ice Hockey Cup in 1953 and was third in the USSR Ice Hockey Championship as goalkeeper. International Career In 1954, Yashin was called up to the Soviet national team and would go on to gather 78 caps. With the national team he won the 1956 Summer Olympics as well as the first European Championship, the 1960 European Nations Cup. He also played in three World Cups, in 1958, 1962 and 1966. Yashin is credited with four clean sheets out of the 12 games he played in the World Cup Finals. Post-playing career After retiring from playing, Yashin spent almost 20 years in various administrative positions at Dynamo Moscow. A bronze statue of Lev Yashin was erected at the Dynamo Stadium in Moscow. Yashin was survived by wife Valentina Timofeyevna and daughters Irina and Elena, when Russia hosted the 2018 FIFA World Cup, Valentina was still living in the Moscow apartment that the Soviet state had given her husband in 1964. Yashin has one granddaughter and one surviving grandson. Another grandson died in 2002 at age 14 from injuries suffered in a bicycle accident. The surviving grandson, Vasily Frolov, played as a goalkeeper in Dynamo's youth section and was on the books of the senior side, but never played a game with the senior side, retiring from play at age 23. He now runs a goalkeeper training school in Moscow near Spartak Moscow's current stadium. Ice Hockey Career Yashin also played ice hockey, also as a goalie, and he won the Soviet Cup in March 1953. He stopped playing ice hockey in 1954 to concentrate on his football career. Quotes what kind of a goalkeeper is the one who is not tormented by the goal he has allowed? He must be tormented. And if he is calm, that means the end. No matter what he had in the past, he has no future. Lev Yashin